My name is Neil Ferguson. I head the Department of Infectious Disease Epidemiology at Imperial College. Um, our department is one of the largest in the world in this discipline. We undertake research spanning theoretical modelling of infectious disease epidemics all the way to field research and indeed uh, implementing interventions in resource poor settings such as sub-Saharan Africa. Within the department we have a number of major initiatives. Uh, the first I'd like to just briefly review is the MRC um, Centre for Outbreak Analysis and Modelling where we do what it says on the tin, we undertake analysis of epidemics, particularly emerging disease epidemics such as this year the MERS coronavirus spreading in the Middle East but in the past pandemics and bioterror threats. The second initiative um, I'd like to mention the department is the London Centre for Neglected Tropical Disease Research, a big grouping of activity in neglected tropical diseases, parasitic diseases. And thirdly, we are a UNAIDS reference centre for the study of HIV and we provide projections for the United Nations Organisation for AIDS, UNAIDS, which um, tell the world and policy makers what to expect in the HIV epidemic in the coming years. As well as undertaking a lot of basic research on infectious disease dynamics in this department, we also specialise in collaborative research and advising public health partners around the world. In the UK we work closely with Public Health England and the Department of Health on a range of issues, but we're most notably a World Health Organisation collaborating centre for infectious disease modelling, the first of its kind indeed, where we work with them on a wide range of diseases including influenza, polio, malaria and many others. We also work very closely with the Centre for Disease Control in Atlanta on a range of issues where we actually placed staff in that organisation and continue to do so since the 2009 uh, swine flu pandemic. Within the MRC Centre we've been developing mathematical models for malaria transmission to understand how the parasite is sustained between people and the mosquito vector. Um, ultimately the aim of this is to look at the impact that different interventions might have in reducing morbidity from the disease but ultimately also looking at elimination within countries. As part of this we've been working with the Clinton Foundation and with WHO to develop an elimination scenario planning tool. Part of this is some computer software and also a guidance document. We hope that this will be of use to the country programmes to help them think about how different interventions might impact in their country and help them with their future planning. For example, one of the tools that they will be thinking about is the new malaria vaccine that may be licensed for use from 2017 onwards. So we've been looking at the potential impact in terms of reducing cases and deaths from malaria to see whether that would be a cost-effective intervention for that country to introduce. So here at Imperial, uh, we use mathematical modelling and computer simulations to uh, track epidemics to better help us understand how pathogens spread through populations and help uh, public health agencies, public health officials better target prevention. So as an example, uh, my team is currently working on HIV uh, in high-risk populations in Europe and we're going back uh, looking at freezers uh, in hospitals all around Europe bringing together samples, blood samples from patients and looking at the accumulation of mutations in the virus over time so that we can reconstruct exactly what has happened in the past in this epidemic in terms of different strains, how they've traveled across Europe and how they've caused local epidemics within Europe so that we can better understand exactly who is at risk and where prevention needs to be targeted in this currently resurgent HIV epidemic. So one of the most exciting projects which we're currently involved in is a very large $130 million multi-center trial called the POPART trial, um, which is taking place in Zambia and South Africa, in which something like 1.2 million people in very highly affected communities, where one in five adults is affected by HIV, are being offered universal and immediate treatment uh, both for their own benefit but also because by treating them the amount of virus in the blood comes down and this renders them much less infectious. So this is a potentially game-changing intervention but also a very expensive intervention and we're going to be looking at using mathematical modeling and computer simulation to try and evaluate those trade-offs in terms of the, the efficacy but also the, the cost of this intervention 
and extrapolating it to help governments make the decision as to whether to invest uh, in this prevention strategy or uh, other prevention strategies uh, which are currently available. One of the best things about the job I do is how exciting a place this department is to work in. The range of people, the range of backgrounds and the range of challenges we meet day to day in terms of the research we undertake and our work with policymakers around the world.